Hello, hello. I thought I would just hop on, share a video with you today. Uh, and it's all about a sort of recurring theme that's happening at the moment. And it's all about letting go or accepting and letting go. And which equals more peace rather than feeling resigned and holding on. Now, there's the holding on bits and the bits that are about the things that you want to have happen in your life, your way. Yeah. And because you believe they're right and you're very welcome to think like that, you know, somebody's done something wrong to you. You want to like make sure they understand that um, they've done something wrong to you. You want to tell them, you might want to punish them. And behind all of this is a whole load of energy. Now, I go on about it, that you can't change the way somebody speaks to you or what they think about you or their perception of their life, that they think it's okay to do what they do to you and the actions. But it's about thinking, taking that step back, being that observer and going, actually, that is what happened. I can either choose to stay with this and hold on to it, but like a dog with a bone, or I can just let it go and not let that stuff be, it be integrated into my life. And the acceptance and letting go is, is what you have power over. Yeah, you're not a victim when you're accepting and letting go. You're not a doormat. You're not somebody who couldn't make the grade, yeah, in the battle war zones of divorce. But you are somebody who has a greater awareness of how it affects you. So this might be something like somebody says something to you and you go, actually, do you know what? That was really wrong, what they said to me. And I'm going to give you an, a, an example. There was uh, a client recently who, uh, for whatever reason, hasn't done something. I don't want to get into too much detail about that her ex wanted her to do. And this could be for male or female. And her ex was furious about this and started calling her all sorts of names under the sun. Like, 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 like deeply offensive words, like you are a despicable human being. I mean, wow, where does that come from? And, and what she realized was that you can, she could either choose to go back there because he had made it really deeply personal. She could go in there and just react to that and give all her lovely energy into going, actually you, whatever, you motherfucker, you know, don't talk to me like this. Or she could just go, do you know what? If you are in that place where you think that's okay to say that to somebody, this says more about where you are in your life. And so, because she took that calm stand, her ex just put the phone down. There was nowhere else for him to go. You know, it had landed and he didn't get the reaction or anything else, but obviously felt clearly much better. He told his ex that she was a despicable human being. Um, which, honestly. And what she decided to do was that she was going to we had a chat about this and decided that actually what we had to do is take the heat out of the situation. So she wrote an email saying, I respect the fact you want me to do something and I'm not going to do it, not because I want to upset you or anything, but actually this is just how I feel. And I am going to do it with kindness and respect and to, um, and I would ask that you also honor this too. 
So, you know, it's, and she sent the email and she sent it, you know, because she just thought, I'm not going to take on those words that you have called me. Yeah, I don't need to take those on. I am bigger than this. And as I said, if, if somebody is calling you names, it is about them and where they are and what is what is going on in their lives. And we do know that we know about our exes. Yeah, we go, yeah, I know how they are. I know how they behave. But you have never been in a relationship with your ex while you're going through a divorce. Yeah, you don't know what they're thinking, what their fears are coming up um, because you're not with them because you're both obviously getting divorced. So we think, we kind of think, oh yeah, better the devil we know. We don't actually know that person when they're going through a divorce. We don't know how they're thinking in their quieter moments. They don't, you know, and as we all know, if we kind of step back into ourselves and connect to ourselves, are we the person going through the divorce that we were in 